Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this one we're going to see how we can use Python to interact with Curator's API. So I have my PyCharm Community Edition IDE here, and we're going to have to import the requests module in order to make uh, web requests. And then I have my uh, security token that I created from authorized uh, services menu. I called it uh, script and I gave it admin permissions. So uh, you'd have to do the same. And then I copied it and pasted it here. And the URL field is basically the IP of my, uh, the FQDN or IP of my deployment. And then the API endpoint uh, that I would like to do. So, for the first example, I'll use the system about API, like we've seen in the previous video. And now we have to start building our header that we're going to send to uh, Curator. So we can do that like this. And we have to specify our sec token, and then the content type. And it also would not hurt to add the accept header field like this. So this is our header. And now let's save the response uh, to a variable called R. And we're going to type requests.get, which will uh, send the web request like we specify the URL with the header that we created. And I also want to skip SSL verification again, because I don't have the uh, certificates installed. So what we're doing here, uh, we're telling Python to use requests.get method, which will go to this URL, right? This is our uh, address. And it's going to use that header in the headers field, and it's going to uh, skip uh, SSL verification. Okay. And we can then go ahead and print uh, that response in a JSON format. So if I go ahead and run this, I can basically see that I get my uh, JSON response like we saw in the, uh, in the user interface. We get the release name, we get the update package four, the build version, and the external version, which is 7.5. Now that's quite a simple example. And let's say that I would like to do something a bit more complicated, like uh, dealing with uh, rules from the API. So I would change my API to be analytics and then rules, right? And I would leave my header the same. And then I can go ahead and do something like this. Actually, I will bring back this uh, r dot r variable. Okay. So now what I'm saying is, since I'm sending a request to the U, uh, rules uh, endpoint, it's going to return a lot of um, results, right? Because we have many different uh, detections. So we're telling Python to create a loop here that's going to go over each one of those responses and print out the name property of each of those responses. And if we go ahead and run this, we can see that it returns a, a list with all of our 
uh, detections, I think the 51 uh, first detections, because the default is uh, 0 to 50, or 0 to 49, uh, not quite sure. And then we get the response at the list of rules. And that's pretty cool. And then, for example, I can also do something like, uh, let's do it like this. So I'm creating two variables here to count the amount of enabled and disabled rules that I have. Okay, so basically now I'm going over each of my uh, rules in the response and I'm checking the property called enabled inside the response and whether it's uh, set to true, I increase my enabled count by one. And if it's not set to true, I increase the disabled count by one. So now we can go ahead and print enabled count and print disabled count and let's see what we're getting so we have 98 enabled rules and we have 40 uh, disabled ones so i just show you guys two quick examples on how to interact with uh, curators api by using python and really because you have so many different API endpoints, you can create some very creative things, and it only depends on your uh, programming skills and your understanding of the API. So if you have some programming experience, I urge you to go ahead and um, uh, practice, like go and write some different scripts to maybe automate some of the uh, tedious tasks that you have to do, you can certainly do that. Uh, so go ahead and uh, get creative with this. And I will see you guys in the next video.